this video is a quick update regarding a pilot program that is going to run in September in Australia. Now previously we discussed about a pilot program that was planned for July intake that was unfortunately postponed because of the increase in number of coronavirus cases in Victoria. On 16th of August, the Federal Trade Minister Simon Birmingham announced that there will be a trial run or a pilot program to test up to 300 students who will be coming into Australia in September. So this pilot program will be similar to the one in July that was postponed but instead of Canberra this time the students will be arriving in South Australia. So South Australia has been given a green light to run this pilot program. So students from four countries which are China, Hong Kong, Japan and Singapore will fly in from Singapore to Australia in September. So all the students coming in from China, Hong Kong and Japan will meet in Singapore and that's where a charter flight will take them into Adelaide. And after arriving in Adelaide, they will have to do a 14 day mandatory quarantine in a hotel. Now luckily the bill for this quarantine will be paid by the universities. Now compared to Victoria and many other states, South Australia has been doing relatively well in controlling the cases of coronavirus. So it's a perfect thing for the government to trial run this system in South Australia as they have a very low number of COVID-19 cases and their hotel quarantine procedures and processes has been working really well. Now when I heard about this news I was taken by a bit of surprise because I personally thought that this trial run might happen in October or November. Now this obviously will be a pilot or test run to see how the things pan out. If this works out really well then there's a chance that there may be a few hundred other students who will be allowed to come in before the end of the year. But I personally don't think that there will be a huge number of international students who will be arriving this year. The reason for that is the outbreak in Victoria is just about getting under control now. Again in my personal opinion, I think there will be few more students who will be allowed to come at the start of the next year when the new semester starts. Obviously February and March intakes are huge for international education in Australia. But it will certainly depend upon how the things goes in Victoria and if there are any other outbreaks in other parts of Australia and how they are managed. There is a possibility that a lot of students might be allowed to come in at the start of next year or even in July 2021. Well that's my personal prediction on that. I hope my prediction regarding this July 2021 is wrong as I do want international students to come back to Australia sooner. Well I hope you find some value in this video. Please let us know in the comment section below and if you do like the video I'll really appreciate that. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.